Ah, yes, Japan. The wonderful, mysterious country where there's always something interesting to see and something interesting to do. From the you know, crazy stations in Tokyo, the bustling crowds. But Japan is so much more than that. And in this series, I'd like to uh, just show some fun things about Japan and Japanese culture. Some uh, tidbits that uh, maybe you'd never heard of before, and things that make uh, this culture and this country uh, quite unique. You can find a giant 5 yen coin, and of course the beautiful koi in the ponds with samurai, geisha, all kinds of unique things. But uh, Japan is more than that, and uh, today's very interesting culture point is uh, something that I found quite mysterious when I first came to Japan. And so I would like to give you all just a little bit of a, a taste of what it's like to live you know, in a unique culture and something that's you know, completely different from our own. So today, I hope you'll enjoy our little quiz. You know, don't click away. This is not actually going to be a, a real quiz, but it's going to be something about Japan that maybe you'd never heard of before, and I hope that you'll enjoy. So for this video, it was a little tricky to find some good footage, but I'm heading to uh, Chiba Station. And uh, at Chiba Station, I found a really good example of what today's topic is going to be and so I'll show you the clip that I got in Chiba and then after that I'll ask you a question to see if you noticed anything odd or strange um, about the clip. So if you want to see this spot head over to Chiba Station. Let's have a look. Okay, so here we go with Japanese parking, parking spots. Walk with me, here's number one, number two, number three, number five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, and so on. And what was missing? That'll be your quiz for today. So, did you guys find what was missing? Um, this was a really, uh, you know, lucky spot to, uh, you know, find such an easy example, but in Japan, the number four and the number nine are actually bad luck. You know, unlike other countries that, uh, you know, the number 13 is bad luck or Friday the 13th. But in Japan, actually, number four and number nine are unlucky numbers. Uh, number seven is actually lucky, like if you go to a pachinko place, you know, 777, just like in, um, you know, if you go to Las Vegas or something, that's lucky. But in Japan, uh, four, which is she, uh, that sounds just like the same kanji she for death. And so four uh, sounds like the uh, kanji for death. And so a lot of hospitals don't even have room number four, which is uh, quite interesting. Um, I've actually been in some buildings where the elevator skips uh, floor number four. So you always wonder if there's something there in between three and five, or if they just numbered it that way. But yeah, in hospitals, you don't want to stay in room number four because you might have a chance to die there. And number nine, 
a Q. Uh, even some of my students didn't really notice this one because I guess number four is the famous unlucky number. But uh, Q is also similar to the kanji for kurushi, uh, ku, kurushi, and um, that is to kind of suffocate or choke or, you know, kind of struggling to live with something. And so nine doesn't have a very good feel to it either. And so four and nine are Japan's unlucky numbers, which is quite interesting. You know, no other countries would have those two numbers as unlucky numbers, but only in Japan uh, would you see those two numbers left out of, say, a parking lot or room numbers, even some hotels. They won't have those rooms. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's little tidbit about Japan. I'm trying to do a kind of a little series here that uh, shows a lot of the unique and interesting things that I've seen and, you know, kind of the fun stuff about Japan that was really surprising as a foreigner. And these are the kind of things that makes the world, you know, just seem open and, you know, amazing and, you know, different. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as a final little note, um, I would like you to do a little math problem for me. So if you put four and you add nine, Japan's two unlucky numbers together, what do you get? <laughs> Pretty scary, isn't it? Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao, mata ne. Ah, ah, ah.